Uh, hello everyone, this is Kevin Heffner, Historic Autographs. Today is the day we're announcing who the famous American was. We had tons of guesses. This was a fun thing for us because we got people to be interactive with cards that we haven't been able to do before. And so what I'm going to do is reveal to you who the famous American was as quickly as possible. There were six total cards that you needed in this specific order. That is card number 39. And on card number 39, there is a key in Susan B. Anthony's hair. This is card number 95, Doc Holliday. There is a C for a C note, as in a $100 bill. By now, you should have figured out who it was. This is P.T. Barnum, and there are the Franklin Bifocals. In card number 75, this is Bell Boyd, and there is the logo for the University of Pennsylvania. Last but not least, or I'm sorry, first we have number 14, Cornelius Vanderbilt, where you'll see the English Parliament. And then last but not least, card number 83, Loda Crabtree, and there is an envelope for the post office. All of these clues will point you to Ben Franklin. We did have somebody guess Ben Franklin, but did not have the clues, all the right clues, nor in the proper order. The proper order is card 39, card 95, card 25, card 75, card 14, card 83. And the reason that these numbers go that way is 39.9525 north, 75.1483 west are the exact coordinates to ben Benjamin Franklin's grave. That's why these six cards were needed in a specific order to point you to Benjamin Franklin's grave. That was a famous American this time, but I promise you we are going to do this again because we had a lot of fun here at the office. We did have a lot of great guesses. Uh, some of the more common ones were J.P. Morgan. Uh, Wild Bill Hickok was the most guest because of the aces in eight hand. We also had Andrew Carnegie and Henry Ford guest. And Donald Trump was guest more than a few times. But none of those people were it. It was Benjamin Franklin. Now, one more thing before I go, I want to talk. We are going to announce later today the 80 schools that won the free sets from the uh, George Washington Chronicles uh, giveaway. Those school, everybody will be individually emailed and given instructions. There are two things that are very important. One, these can only be sent to the school and must be used as educational purposes. Any sets found being sold on the secondary market, I will contact these online auction companies such as eBay and what have you and ask them to remove them because I'm not giving these sets away for people to, to turn a profit on. I'm giving them away so we can educate you know, the youth of America using trading cards as the medium. And then the other thing is, once you get the email, if you are one of the people that won the sets, please email me back with the specific instructions on how to ship them to your school so that we can get them out next week. Thank you very much and have a good day.